All right, today we've come out of the mouth of the Brisbane River. We're going to throw some VX35s along these rock walls. There's a little bit of a drop and then it rises up a little bit. It's got some weed growth growing on it. We're just throwing to that little secondary ledge. We're not punching it right up hard into the rock. We're just casting just onto that weed. We're going to run through a few different techniques. A bit of hopping, a bit of dead sticking. Just show you what sort of fish we can get on these little blades. So there's just a nice little bit of weed and a secondary sort of rise. Probably 12, 14 foot out from the bank. We're just getting our blade into the water, letting it sink down. I'm not going to do too much crazy with it. I'm just going to keep it really close to the bottom. Small tiny hops. Just keep it in the zone for as long as we can. Every now and then you're going to get a snag like that. Most of the time it's just pulling it off of a bit of weed, which isn't too much of an issue. Cast just to that little edge, down, make sure it's going to bite. And I'm watching the belly in that line. A lot of times when you're blading, when we're doing the dead sticking technique and just sitting it really still, these fish are actually picking it up off the bottom. So it's done a bit of vibration, it's sunk down to the bottom and they're coming along and picking it up while it's just laying there. Just keep an eye on that belly, every now and then give it a little hop. Now a lot of times a lot of people fish this really fast, they don't want to snag it up, they don't want to hit the weed, they don't want to end up snagged in the rock so they'll keep working it, keep flicking it, keep hopping it. Whereas we've found over the time we've been using these, that these fish will actively pick them up while they're just laying on the bottom, nice and still. There's one. Oh, that was a fish. See if he comes back. So that's worked away from that edge. It was out in a bit of deep water. There's one. Just chewed up that line as I went to raise it up. The hooks. You're not retrieving it, so you're not getting a really aggressive thump like you would if you were bringing a lure back to you. They're just sucking it up ever so slightly. Small hops whenever I want to pick it up. There's one. So I just watch that belly just tick over. It's only a small fish, but it's a start. So he was just sitting dead still on the bottom. I lifted the belly out of the line to get the lure to move. And as I was just taking the belly out of the line, the fish picked it up. There we go. So there's just a little brim. But that was dead sticking a blade. So a lot of guys will work those relatively quick, get a lot of vibration out of it. But we found the, uh, the more you sit them down, the more the fish love to pick them up. Little VX35, really versatile bait. I'm getting back and see if we can repeat the process. Uh, nice long cast, back into that ledge. Sink it down. Watch that belly. The belly in your line will tell you everything that's going on with your lure. Oh, as I went to lift it up there, something rattled it. He's fouled my lure up. Oh, I was just shaking it a bit aggressively there to get the lure to jump and hopefully throw the treble off itself and something whacked it as I was shaking it. Yep, there he is. All right, so that then, that little bit of aggressive shaking may have stirred that fish up. Again, he's not huge. But we 
come across a couple of fish now. Alright, so that's another little guy. Taken on the VX35. Slightly different, still trying to replicate that dead sticking technique. But that little aggressive twitch I threw in there to untangle it instantly uh, triggered a reaction out of that little guy. There's a few bigger ones than that out there. Okay, what are we doing? We've just watched Liam catch a couple of fish along the rock wall here. I was fishing one of the new colours, but um, caught a snapper a few casts ago and it's completely crunched my treble, so usually I just change treble, but I've been throwing that green colour for quite some time now, so I'm just changing to a different colour. As usual, simple blood knot to the split ring. Try it. Trim your tag off. She's ready to go. I'm going to be doing exactly the same as what Liam's been doing. Chucking to this secondary ledge. There's actually weed columns that grow off the bottom and they're, they're not actually matted up in a, a big line. There's actually little grooves going into this wall. We're only sitting in about 10 foot of water. But I'm throwing 30 to 40 yards, uh, 30 to 40 feet off the wall. I don't want to actually land on the wall. I want to try and get my lure to fall where these weed columns are because that's where the fish are actually sitting out where the boat is is all sand so we need the fish to actually see the lure where they're hiding and I'm doing the same thing as what Liam was doing tiny little hops and letting my lure hit back on the bottom and I'm watching the belly of my line for any indication that there's a fish that's picked it up But we just work along the wall, trying to make a cast every couple of metres. But the beauty of these blades, like we've seen today, is you can let them sit on the bottom and the fish will go nose down, pick them up off the bottom. As you go to take the belly out of your line, or you, just like that, I'd actually lift that hit on the drop. Just a little brim. Oh, it's got a heap, a heap of mates with him. In a tournament situation now, you could even leave him in the water and um, make more casts. Actually, there's a good size pike in as well. I'll just pull him in. Right. Only a little fish, but it's completely engulfed that. That hit it on the drop. So I just lift off the bottom. He grabbed it, I felt it as it was falling back to the bottom and set the hook. Just surgery for this fella, he's completely engulfed. Right, that's now nice and easy, we'll get him back in. And we'll repeat that process. And that's the same, same thing as any fishing, it doesn't matter what technique you're doing, if you come across a technique that works for the day, there's no point trying something different unless you're getting onto heaps and heaps of fish and you just want to try new te techniques but we're out for the day to catch them on blades so we found we originally started fishing up a bit shallow but we found this secondary ledge out wide has definitely got the fish on it so every cast we want to land in the same spot but just in a different part along the wall same thing just let it set to the bottom make sure she's vibrating just little hops let it sit back on the bottom Generally with these brim or snapper along these walls, you get them in patches, you might make 10, 15 casts of no fish, and then you'll come across a little patch where there'll be half a dozen, a dozen fish you can get out of there, and there we go. That's two fish in two casts, if I get this fellow in. I'm fishing only three pound litre, and these snapper definitely dust you up and you just pray that they haven't swallowed the whole thing. It's only a little fish but oh it's brim. Bit of size one. Thought there was actually a little snapper but just a little aggressive brim. Same blade and exactly the same technique. So just get these 
spikes in my hand. So this one's actually got off the middle treble. Just be careful, they're nice and spiky. Threw it out beautifully for me, ready to go again. So he really didn't have that pinned in his mouth much. So we'll let him go back for another day and we'll just try and repeat that process. So that's two in two cars. And like I said, you come across these little patches where you get a few fish in a row and you might go half a dozen, a dozen cars or 50 odd metres of the bank or you're not getting a touch at all and then you'll come across another little patch. Get it to the bottom, make sure she's vibrating. actually feel this is fouled up. So I'll give it a couple of solid hops quite often that will release it, the line of it. It's fouled up. If it's not swimming, just get it straight back in ready to go again. Same thing, I'm landing 30 feet off that wall where I know the weed is dropping off onto the sand. Just letting it free fall down the face of it. It's only 10 foot, so it's there on the bottom already. Just slow lift and hop. That's all we need to do, there's a fish. It's another little brim. See, these brim are actually sitting in these weed columns and they're all nose out facing towards the boat here. So what we're trying to do is actually land it just over the back because these vibration baits fall towards the boat. So we throw it just over the back of their heads. Not that we can see them, we've just caught enough today to know where they, they're sitting. And they race out of these weed columns and they're hitting these Eco Gear VX 35s at will at the moment. So they're, look, they're not huge fish, but really good to practice on and learn. And you can actually use this te technique, it doesn't really matter where you're fishing in Australia. If you've got a rock ball similar to this with a where the rocks come down and meet a bit of weed and sand, you generally will be able to pick these fellas up on the VX 